Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're going to do a reading for Lee Jun Ho and um, Lee Se Young. E Se Young. Okay, so let's do um, Lee Se Young first. Her sun sign is the King of Pentacles. So she's very good with her money, um, very intelligent, abundant, disciplined, and very ambitious. What's her, m well, we're going to add that to her. Yeah, she might have um, some unhealthy spending habits sometimes. Let's see, what's her moon? What's in her heart here? Okay, so she doesn't like to miss opportunities here. She doesn't want to miss out on things that are good for her, I feel. Rising sign is moving forward with the Eight of Wands. So I feel like she really does like to um, move forward and have people see that she has accomplished things here. What's her Mercury? How does she think here? Okay, so she's a sweetheart. Let's see. Oh, that's Princess of Cups. So that's the Page of Cups. So she's quite innocent, um, creative, kind of happy, happy news or kind, emotional insights to things. So she thinks in almost like through the eyes of a child, like really young at heart here. Let's see, how does she love? Okay, so she may feel um, when it comes to love that sometimes things are too risky here when it comes to love. Yeah, but she, she does want that blessing. I feel like she's gonna know um, with the Ace of Pentacles here, this is spirit giving her a, um, a new brand new connection here an opportunity for her when it comes to love and she may have felt too risky um, to take it so let's see what her Mars says her Mars is uh, yeah she may be unbalanced when it comes to love I feel dealing with life and love I feel like that might be part of it she needs to um, change something to balance something out when she deals with life and love this is judgment in reverse. So she may have made some bad judgment calls in the um, past and may have experienced um, hardships due to it. So what's their Jupiter, her luck here? Oh, that's a lot, spirit. I just want one. Her Jupiter and her luck. Okay, so she may have been held up when it came to her luck possibly because she didn't take an opportunity that she was meant to take here what's her jupiter in luck yeah with a king of wands so she may have felt that was too risky and didn't didn't take that offer what's her saturn her discipline yeah she may have we got the moon in reverse so things may have come to light or she may be able to feel things here i feel like it's this is her discipline so and with the moon card in reverse she may be able to pick up on deception or she just doesn't want to deal with that i'm feeling like she's very disciplined in what she does and i feel like she she doesn't have time for that kind of behavior with the moon in reverse let's see what's her uranus how unique is she here okay she's she's unique where she invests her time and i feel like her money most of anything she's very um very good with her money in investing wise or investing in herself i feel What's her palace here? Yeah, she's waiting for the one here. The three of wands when it comes to relationships. What's her palace here? Her relationships. Yeah, she may have felt defeated in love in the past. Maybe people talk shit about her afterwards if she didn't do something they wanted her to do. So then they just 
blackballed her afterwards, like just totally talk shit about her because perhaps she walked away from somebody and it bruised their ego. What's the Gino, the influences around her? Yeah, she may have some anxiety uh, when it comes to people getting into her business and to try to influence her into doing things. What's her potential, her Vesta? This is the Princess of Wands. So it's in reverse though. So she may be a little bit gullible, maybe gets distracted when it comes to um, her potential she could actually have. Um, she might not be, um, she might have a, pass, a pessimistic um, mindset in some way. She could be uh, an earth sign, a Capricorn, because they can be kind of pessimistic. What's the past life here, her south node here? Okay, so she may not have, this is the Knight of Wands in reverse, okay. So she may have um, been a little bit impatient, maybe angers quickly, maybe had a little bit of lack of self-control when it comes to something here. Let's see, that was her in her past life. So what's her mid-heaven career here? Yeah, walking away from uh, a career, maybe to get into what she's doing now. Oh, no, it might have been for love. She may have found a love union here. Yeah, I'm being very happy with the Ten of Cups here. That may be why she walks away from her career. If she hasn't done this yet, it may be yet to come. Or maybe she already has already here. What's the Lilith, the hidden emotions? Yeah, it's a celebration. She's very, she's very happy about what's going on in her life right now. What's her North Node, her current life right now? Oh, wow, look at She's showing up as the Empress here. Nice. So she's really balanced in her current life right now. Very uh, abundant in whatever she's doing. She's very happy in love here. And what was her transformation? Yeah, she recovered and uh, came out of her healing. She did the Dark Knight of the Soul. So she's very balanced in her and she may have found somebody that was really on her level here and if she hasn't yet she surely is going to be soon if she hasn't done so already and this may be why she may have walked away from a career it, whoever it was really made her happy enough to end whatever she was doing to start a family perhaps or move forward in this love relationship so let's look at uh, Lee uh, Jun 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 Ho Lee 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 Jun Jun Ho Jun 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 Ho I think it's Jun Ho. Okay, so tell me about his sun sign, please. His self. Okay, so he might be watching, he may like to um, be observant when it comes to things here. He may be very good, have um, good communication skills, has the gift of gab where he can talk to anybody or talk about anything. He's very curious, he likes to get information, useful information, and he's... I feel like very curious about people. He likes talking. Okay, we have justice in reverse. So he may have made bad judgment calls, maybe about something he said uh, when it comes to the Page of Swords, because that has to do with communication. So he may have made a bad judgment call when he, he may have said something he shouldn't have said to somebody. What is this moon sign here his, in his heart? What's in his heart? Okay, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so he may be kind of impulsive, maybe burns out a little bit, um, maybe unfocused about something here when it comes to his heart. He's not really focusing on it. What's his rising sign? 
how people look at him. Yeah, he he wants people to love him. Um, he's in the public eye, so I feel like a lot of people do love him. They may really like his gift of gab, his communication skills. He's not afraid to say what he wants to say. I feel like his outer persona, his how people view him, is really important to him, that people like him. What's his Mercury, how he thinks here? Okay, so that's kind of on the fence here for me. Um, Nine of Pentacles, so that's being... Um, and this is how he thinks. So he's pretty satisfied in everything that he's doing uh, with the Nine of Pentacles. But it's on the fence right now. Can I get another card for that? Yeah, he likes to... Um, the way he thinks is very positive, celebratory. He likes to... Um, be very positive, outgoing, very happy, charismatic. I feel like he's he loves life, so I feel like he celebrates life in general. Um, not so much that he's drinking all the time or anything like that. He's just very um, positive towards life. Things are going really good. He's got a lot of enthusiasm and uh, maybe he inspires a lot of people. I feel like he's semi-satisfied with his life here. Maybe something isn't going in his favor or he's thinking about how satisfied he is. Maybe of what he wants to do. This is all about his thinking, right? So what's his Venus? How does he love? How does he love here? We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So he may not adapt to love very well sometimes, maybe, um, let's get another card for that please. Oh, Queen of Cups. So when he does love, he's definitely, um, in t uh, he's very in tune with his feminine side where he gets emotional when it comes to love. Like he really connects with people emotionally intuitive he's very compassionate and loving and sensitive and tender-hearted he's a and he tries to adapt um to this love i feel like sometimes whoever depending on who he is with i think that uh he may have a disconnect or he's going to be all in so i kind of feel like he follows his heart and i feel like that's what it's saying to me here how does he deal with life what's his mars for Jun Ho. Wow. Okay. So how he deals with life. Family has a lot to do with it. I feel um, he's really wanting to get married eventually here. Okay. So he does look at that. And he's very patient when it comes to that. He might even have um, earth placements. He's satisfied when it comes to his life here. So he might be in, he's in the flow, he progresses, and I feel like he may even be looking at this maybe five or ten years from now. I don't feel like it's right now. It even could be sooner, but yeah. The Five of Swords. So I feel like he may have retreated from, um dealing with certain things in his life and love might be one of them it might be something that he's kind of put on the back burner for now what's jupiter okay so walking away from he might feel like hmm for his luck this is his jupiter and the eight of cups is kind of walking away from something that he felt was lucky in his life here. What's this Eight of Cups here? Yeah, a decision about love. So he may have walked away from someone he felt was somebody important to him that brought him a lot of luck or felt lucky in love, but he may have made the wrong choice. He may have put himself or his career ahead of that. What's the Saturn, the discipline? Okay, the Queen of Wands. So I feel like with this, he's very confident about and and very focused, um, fiery. Uh, <laughs> he might um, be kind of, 
Well, he's very optimistic, that's for sure. Self-assured, he's determined and confident. But he's very um, fiery, so he can... <laughs> um, when it comes to his discipline, he is going to say how it is. Like, he's not going to sugarcoat it. I don't feel like... Like he's going to say what's on his mind. So he doesn't have a problem with voicing how he really feels. So let's look at his Uranus. His how unique he is. He's got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But I feel like he may have felt. Maybe felt that things may have gone to a path where he wasn't feeling himself because um, normally I feel like he's lucky feels lucky or he has something to do with the wheel of fortune here how unique he is um, but I feel like because of this here on his luck and this having to do with his luck I feel like that might be why it's in reverse he may have walked away from somebody he felt lucky to have and maybe things didn't work out so good with him at some point here and he may not feel he was unique enough for this person can I get another card with that yeah maybe he needed to speak a truth and he didn't it may have been a lie that he told or he wanted a truth from this person and maybe they lied to him so what's this palace his relationships here how does he feel about his his palace okay so he has the knight of cups on the fence and the knight of cups i mean that's that's somebody that is very heartfelt when it comes to love they're very romantic very charming imaginative you know very creative it could even be an offer or a proposal that he maybe had for somebody here or wanted to do that. And it's on the fence. Maybe he shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't. And maybe he's regretting that at some point here because this has to do with relationships. And he is on the fence with this. So what is this Knight of Cups here in his relationship? Mm, page of Wands. Okay, so it was an act of chance. Like, this is to do with action. And he may have been inspired, had a fresh idea, or was very enthusiastic or positive about this. But I feel like maybe something didn't happen because he thought about it, but maybe didn't act on it when it came to a relationship. All right, what does this influence his Juno? Hmm, there's an Empress here. There may have been somebody here, an Empress, that may have influenced him on the positive because she is on the positive here. And I feel like it was a positive influence to him. And maybe this is who he didn't listen to. What's the Vesta, the potential that he has here? What's his potential here, his Vesta? Okay, so he might be recovering from some type of, I'm gonna say um, some type of, he feels, <laughs> he feels like he was deceived somehow um, when it comes to his potential here. Possibly that things could have gone a lot further, but something came to an end or something changed here when it came to something. I feel like it's, it was something that maybe could have gone a lot further and because something happened here, it stopped, it ended here. And it could have gone a lot further. What's the past life, the self, self node for him? His self node here. For Jun Ho or Jun Ho. Oh, the Sun card. So something maybe came to light, or there was some type of realization about his happiness. I feel in his in his past life, he might have been uh, a very happy person back then in his other life here or his past life. It was another lifetime ago. 
I feel like things maybe came to light or he was just in a better place. I don't know. He was, he was very intuitive. He may have um, been very bright when it comes to spiritual. He may have had a lot of gifts. He may have been very happy about whatever knowledge he had back then. What's his mid heaven, his career? Yeah, he was healing something here. He's healing when it came to a career. Now, his he may have been in a career with uh, Lee Se Young, and she may have left because of love. And this, he might be healing from this. I'm wondering if this had something to do with this. Maybe she walked away from him to pursue a love. Maybe he loved her because she was an influence to him. He may not have loved her, but things ended between them. Maybe because she ended her career. Maybe they worked together or something here. Uh, this That potential thing comes to mind here. He's healing that. What is the healing? Yeah, this has to do with working, and that was on the fence. So <laughs> I kind of feel like things just didn't happen anymore. How to do with work? What's the hidden emotion? His Lilith, because of this. Mm. He had a lot of options, though. So he, I still feel like he moved on with his career. Because the, uh, and I feel like he had a lot of options when it came to his hidden emotions. He, like there was a lot of opportunities here. I, I don't feel like it hurt him too badly, but he did heal from this. He was trying to heal from this. Took time to heal or, what else for his hidden emotions with the seven of cups here? He may have been confused by this. Yeah, but he recovered from it and to a positive side with the Five of Pentacles here. So he wasn't hurt by this in the sense of financially. Um, and things... I don't feel like he was left out in the cold or if he felt that, he's, he came out of that. And he may have been confused by this at first. Maybe he didn't understand how someone could give up their whole career for love or something along those lines when it came to the Empress. Because she is here. She is influencing him here. I feel like this is her here in his Juno. Influencing him or helping him. I feel like they made a good team here. So what's the North Node, the current life here? What's the current life, the North Node? Mm, everything is fine and I don't feel like that is true for him I feel like he may have felt <laughs> he may have been confused but tried to tried to remain positive okay maybe he put on a facade when it came to her that this is okay but he really did feel bad about it yeah I feel like he um, had a different perspective about career and this is his current life so he may not have agreed with what she did but that was her choice yeah I feel like with the eight of swords in reverse here that he wasn't plagued with any anxiety about it I feel like he was okay with it eventually like he had to get over it um, but I don't feel like it hurt him any. I feel like he was able to continue just fine. He just didn't understand the reasoning behind it. But maybe he hasn't experienced a love like that. I mean, she had the Ten of Pentacles there and the Ten of, of Cups and the Two of Cups. And she was like really <laughs> happy about taking these steps of walking away from her career for love. So what is her transformation? Mm, five of Cups. So she may miss this time with him. I do feel like there was some type of bond they had. I mean, he's here. She's here, the influencing, helping him out 
with things and maybe he helped her out with things and like a team right uh, a good team and I feel like she may be sad about that because she may have hurt him not not meaning to but just following her own heart and kind of felt like she was leaving him behind or feeling him like she was leaving him out in the cold but he's showing up that he wasn't he was in a positive mindset so he was a little confused about it and maybe realized and had a different perception about career and um, he was putting his on the back burner remember so he wasn't it wasn't something he really had a plan for his life and he did it was going to be later on and I feel like she must have met her person she really wanted to be with and if she hasn't yet she is going to and it's going to be such an impact in her life that she's going to follow her heart so but that is what I have for them so please like share and subscribe give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here with the astrology Celtic cross I feel like this really brings in a lot more information and kind of uh, gives us a little insight of what's going on without being too evasive <laughs> so anyhow I hope you liked it we'll talk soon take care stay blessed all right later